Hello everyone and welcome back to a new PHP programming tutorial. In the previous videos we covered a number of subjects separately and now I think we are ready to build um, a, a simple project. Uh, we are going to create a content management system. A content management system is just um, a dynamic website that allows you to add um, let's say sections and articles dynamically uh, you might have heard of Joomla or Drupal um, yeah we want to something that complex but uh, something simple to learn how we could uh, you know combine all the tricks that we learned from the previous videos in, in order to come up with um, acceptable website dynamic website okay so uh first thing first i will uh, open a folder let's go to the zamp folder htdocs and i am going to create a new folder i will call it cms for content management system i will select that and now we have a very simple cms folder it's empty there is nothing there so um, before I start adding stuff I will create a simple folder stating what the plan is so there is a folder I would call it plan and inside this plan folder I will create a file call it to do dot txt okay so what are we going to do well first we need to create script and database uh, database for the application or the website okay for the site let's call it site okay so what does that mean basically we are going to write the required sql commands and statements to create the database and also create the user in my sql okay so uh this is the first step the second thing to do also very straightforward we since we have a database we need to to have a way to connect to the database so we are going to create a class uh, i will call it dba for called dba this would stand for database access allows me to access the database uh through code uh, it will open the connection manage the transactions and stuff like that to make my life a little bit easier when i am dealing with php okay for connecting to the database and managing que uh, queries and uh, transactions okay very straightforward so uh, we created these two things also we are going to create an error log uh, logging uh, class and the point of this one uh, it will be something very simplistic basically it will have a one function uh, but the idea behind this it will uh, help us find the errors instead of having the error appear to the user we will write the errors in specific directory okay so after that we will create routing uh, we talked about this in the previous video about how we uh, how dot htaccess files are used to reroute things so routing uh, and uh, dot ht access file for the website okay so so far we haven't created anything we haven't done anything right next we will need to um let's say um well start creating uh, or understanding how the website consists of 
Well, basically, the website will uh, consist of a number of sections, uh, uh, right? And each section will have a number of articles. So for this reason, we will create a sections table and then we will create a sections class right and we will also um, create an article table and we will create an article class now all this won't allow me to see anything so we will I will need to fold these so how I am going to do that well I will need to create an administrator so for this reason I will need to create um, a users table okay and I will create a users class and then I will start working on uh, administrator uh, part. So create an administrator login uh, page. Okay, so create a very simple administrator login page. And then um, the administrator, administrator uh, should be able uh, could list sections and administrator uh, add a section and administrator could edit a section okay so we uh, he could add a section edit a section and 15 and administrator could um, uh, maybe uh, remove a section okay uh, I might not make it be removed just change a flag or something like that anyway and then we could also have the administrator add a an article and also administrator edits an article and administrator removes an article now all of this work uh, we are just following the information there is nothing being rendered to the end user. Now we come to the rendering. So, uh, website list sections. Uh, we have website view section. So from the website, you could view one of the sections, right? And then we could make uh, from that when you view the section basically uh, if you the articles within the section and then you could view the article okay so now you could view the article that is fine and nice so uh, these are all raw stuff there is uh, almost nothing to view so we will start now adding a few things uh, to make it look like a real website so we are going to later on add a header for the page or for the site 23 we will have to um, change site title or make it customizable make it customizable okay and add footer for the site and basically this will be uh, 
some info like social media links etc and these will be added uh, you know so in the cast uh, administrator we should be able to add these links and see how we could do these next uh, add ability to change logo so we should be able to upload the logo so this means we need to experience how uploading logos works or files sorry uh, how uploading files works and what do we have also so we have footer uh, we have changing the logo um let's see so we change these um okay so create a, a menu to render sections okay so you could from the menu navigate through different sections and so on um, update the articles to uh, make home page article so we should be able to do that 28 um, add ability to create dynamic dynamic menu dynamic menu of the site that will appear on the right left whatever okay and um, yeah certainly we might need to add a template slash uh, so you could add template also CSS to improve the look and feel of the website and maybe we could also um, update uh, the site to include statistical information to help store the number of views for specific pages and the stuff like that um, also we might want to create a simple uh, backup restore right so we might want to include that for the website and uh, yeah this is what's coming to my mind for now uh, some of these steps are very straightforward and simple and some are I would take a lot of time maybe several days but the point of this as I said is very simple we want uh, to learn how to use all what we have uh, seen in the previous videos together to create one big complex website okay so uh, with this plan in mind uh, I will save this and let me go and view the terminal this is the terminal I will say git in it so a repository is now initialized so let's uh, let us also add uh, something to the plan progress progress.txt so here I will write everything that we do so 2022 January 5th uh, basically what did we do today just uh, wrote the plan to develop the content management system okay so uh, I'm gonna copy this one save it and let's go here just write this one wrote the plan to develop the CMS that's it and I will com uh, commit uh, wait a minute uh, what is it oh these are staged now okay I didn't uh, stage them right away anyway let's commit make sure you configure your user dot name user email in git okay that's fine um, so all I have to do uh, maybe go back here this is one of the issues um, Revealing file explorer 
so here get UI here so let's see edit options probably yeah username okay okay so this is yeah these two and that's it this is CMS repository and we save this one uh, that's it let's close this and let's go back and commit things now so we commit and it worked so uh, that will be all for today we just wrote the plan and tomorrow we will start executing the plan to create a very simple content management system so that will be all for today thank you for watching and have a very nice day bye bye